Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 5 in less than 20 minutes. And we are in indeterminate forms. And this is specially made for the new syllabus in engineering mathematics. And follow us every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Okay, in the last video, we talked about the seven different indeterminate forms. And we talked about the short answer questions that they can ask. They may ask, write all the seven different indeterminate forms. Or they may ask you, why is 0 by 0 indeterminate? Or they can even ask, explain why 1 power infinity is indeterminate. And now we move on to the L'Hopital's rule. Not L hospital, the L'Hopital's rule. It's a French mathematician's name and that H is kind of like silent. Okay, the rule is very simple. If you get 0 divided by 0 or infinity divided by infinity in any limit problem, then we differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately again and again and again. By the way, don't use quotient rule differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. Okay, let's go for some simple questions based on the L'Hopital's rule. Given any problem, given any problem in limits, the first thing to do is direct substitution. That is, instead of x, I'm going to plug in the value 0. So I'm going to get tan 0 divided by 0. By the way, one very important thing. In case you do not know the values of sine, cos, tan, cosec, cot, sec, something like that, use a calculator. And remember the order sine, cos x, tan x, and then cosec x, sec x, and cot x. This order is called the reciprocal order. 1 by sine is cosec, 1 by cosec is sine, etc, etc, etc. So, in your calculator, you will never find a button called cosec or sec or cot. So, for example, if you want sec 0 degree, use the fraction button in your calculator and type 1 divided by sec 0. If it exists, you will get the value or if it does not exist, the calculator will show error. Anyway, given any problem in limit, the first thing to do is you plug in the value directly. And if it is 0 divided by 0 or infinity by infinity, then be very happy. Why? Because we can apply the L'Hopital's rule. And L'Hopital's rule tells you differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. We learned the basic differentiation techniques. So I'm sure that you're so good in the basic differentiation and all the formulae. What is the derivative of tan x? Yeah, it's right in front of you, sec squared x. What is the derivative of x with respect to x? 1. Now look at this. One advice from my side. After applying the L'Hopital's rule, you have to simplify. What will you do next? Simplify. This problem is a very simple problem which you might have heard or learned in class 11th. But the problems that you are going to tackle in this engineering, this first semester is more complicated than this. So once more, let me make it very clear. First, direct substitution. And if it is 0 divided by 0 or infinity divided by infinity, apply the L'Hopital's rule. Then simplify. Don't forget, simplify. And after that, plug in the limits. And it might be 0 by 0 again. If it is 0 by 0, don't worry. Differentiate again, just like our L'Hopital told. Anyway, here I got the answer 1. That's it. Now let's move on to another problem. 
So look at this. This is a little bit more serious than the previous one. And before we start this problem, I'll show you a few graphs because I don't know how many of you learned um, functions properly in class 11th. So look at this. This is a very important function in your engineering career itself. It's called the exponential function. So let's say I'm using the standard exponential function. Remember, e power x is not the only exponential function. It can be 2 power x. It can be 10 power x. It can be 1.7395 the whole power x. Anyway, I'm going for the standard function e power x. Now remember, every exponential function will pass through the y value 1. That is 0, 1. Because e power 0, 2 power 0, 3 power 0 is equal to 1. And then you will notice something. If you look at the left side, that means when you plug in negative numbers, the height of the function will become smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And smaller but it will never ever touch the x-axis. So the values like e power minus infinity will be very small, very negligible, but it will not be zero. That's why I wrote e to the power, my power minus infinity tends to zero. And what does e power zero? One. And what is e power infinity tends to infinity? Can you see? The values are becoming bigger and bigger and it becomes so big, it shoots to infinity. And if you want to know what is infinity, etc., watch the last video. I have explained very clearly what is infinity, what is an indeterminate form, etc. Now look at this. This is uh, the inverted function of our exponential function. And that is called the natural logarithmic function. Anyway, in most of the books uh, that is being used in your university, they are simply writing it as log x. But remember, in calculus, if they write log x, try to understand that they are trying to convince you it is log x to the base e. But if you look at any international book, they will go for the notation ln x. They won't even bother to write log x to the base e. They will write ln x. Anyway, I am following the notations that is being followed by the local authors, that is log x. In the assumption, the base is e. Anyway, these are inverted functions and that means it will be a mirror image with respect to the line at 45 degrees. That means if you put a mirror here, if you put a mirror here and if you look inside the mirror, you will be able to see the inverted function. Anyway, please note down all these values. We need them. Can you see log 0 just goes down below, below, below. That means it shoots to minus infinity. Log 1 is 1. Log infinity is infinity. Now we are ready for the next question. So look at this. Given any problem in limit, what will you do first? Yes, you have to plug in the value directly. So I am going to plug in the value 0. 1 minus 0 squared. And log cos 0. Log 1 we saw just now log 1 is 0 divided by log cos 0. What is cos 0? Take your calculator and check it. Log 1 again 0. Anyway, I am so happy I got 0 divided by 0. If you get 0 divided by 0, be very happy because you can apply the L'Hopital's rule. And what does L'Hopital tell you? L'Hopital is asking you to differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. By the way, do you remember chain rule? In last week, we had one video in which we learned clearly about chain rule and implicit function. So this is not log x into 1 minus x square. This is log something. What is the derivative of log x? 1 by x. So what's the derivative of log something? 1 by the same thing multiplied by minus 2x. 
and denominator also the same thing. Now, look at this. What did I tell you earlier? Direct substitution. If it is 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, apply L'Hopital's rule and then simplify. And that is exactly what I did here. Now, after simplification, again plug in the value for x. So, 2 into 0. Oh, that is 0. 1 minus 0 into tan 0. That gives me 0. Again, 0 by 0. Don't get worried. Again, apply the L'Hopital's rule. Now, tell me, what did L'Hopital tell you? Did he ask you to apply u by v rule, the quotient rule? No. He is asking you to differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. What is the derivative of 2 into x? 2 multiplied by 1. How do you differentiate u into v? Yes, my friends, we have to apply product rule. I have seen so many students inventing their own methods. Don't be like that. Look at this. We have to differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately. And the denominator is a product. I can see u into v. So come on, tell me what is product rule? First function into, what is the derivative tan x? Plus <coughs> the second function into derivative of the first, that is minus 2x. That's it. So once more, don't forget, apply L'Hopital's rule, then simplify a little bit, but this looks pretty decent. So I'm not and I'm not going to simplify. I'm going to plug in the limit. Uh, I think we are at the answer. I got the answer too. The next question is for you. Pause the video and try it. I'll repeat, pause the video and try it. And after that, you try to uh, go through the video. In case you got something wrong, you can just use the video to learn the method. Anyway, what's the first thing to do? 0 into e power 0. Remember, e power 0 is 1. Minus 1 plus 0 and log 1 plus 0, log 1 is 0 divided by 0 squared. Of course, I got 0 divided by 0. I'm so happy. Why? I got 0 divided by 0 and that means I am able to apply the L'Hopital's rule. So, can you see a product? u into v dash plus v into u dash. Another product, but be aware there is a minus. Whenever you have a minus, if you apply product rule, don't forget the hero in the story, this bracket. If you forget the bracket, you can forget the marks because you're going to make a careless mistake because this minus will get distributed. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I'm fast forwarding. You try it yourself. You try it yourself. The answer is 1 by 2. If you didn't get the answer, pause, pause and check step by step. Anyway, I'm ready for the next problem because it's slightly different. So, what's the first thing to do? Given any problem in limit, the first thing to do is you plug in the value of the variable directly. So, log sine 0 divided by cot 0. Once more, use a calculator if you need to find the values of cot 0, sin 0, etc. Anyway, sin 0, I remember it is 0. Log 0 is minus infinity. Now, do you understand why I showed you that graph of exponential and logarithmic? We are going to use it again and again and again. Divided by tan 0 is 0. So, this is infinity. Anyway, I am not bothered by that minus. Even if I ignore it also, it's okay. Basically, it's in the form infinity by infinity. Again, I can be happy because I can apply the L'Hopital's rule. So, what does L'Hopital tell you? Differentiate the numerator. That's a chain function. What will be the answer? 1 by sin x 
And what's the derivative of cot x? Cos x square x. Now look at this. After applying L'Hopital's rule, what am I supposed to do? Simplify. So I'm going to simplify 1 by sine x multiplied by cos x multiplied by 1 by cos x squared x. And I'm going to keep that negative outside. Wait a minute. 1 by cos x. We wrote the reciprocal. Sine 1 by sine is cos x. So this is sine squared x. By the way, the minus is outside. This and this will get cancelled. So after simplification, by the way, in your examination, don't skip steps. You have to answer only one question in your examination. Right now, we are going through many, many, many problems in the same topic. So it might be a little bit boring to write all the steps. But in examination, your job is to convince a stranger that you know the concept really well. So don't skip steps. Your presentation, your handwriting, those things are like very important. Anyway, I am almost at the end. Now I am going to try. Cos 0 multiplied by sin 0. Oh, wow, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. My answer is 0. Now the next question. Now comes very important questions. Very, very, very important questions. So listen to me very carefully. Finally, we are at a different form. So what's the first thing to do? You know, 0 into infinity. Can we apply L'Hopital's rule? No, we cannot apply L'Hopital's rule because we can apply only if it is 0 by 0, infinity by infinity. Anyway, I'm going to ignore this minus so that you don't get confused. Whenever you have 0 multiplied by infinity, the method is very, 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 very simple. You just pull one of the quantities to the denominator. You just pull one of the quantities to the denominator. And that can be achieved with a simple algebraic technique. A means 1 by 1 by A. I, I'll make you understand what I meant. If I am trying to pull down that X, I can write this as 1 by X in the denominator. And do you know what is the advantage? The advantage is now I'll get log 0. Log 0 is minus infinity divided by 1 by 0. What is 1 by 0? Infinity. What happens if I get infinity by infinity? Of course, I get a chance to apply L'Hopital's rule. You can do it the other way also. If you like to mess up uh, with this problem, you can even write this as x divided by 1 by log x. But I am not going to do this. I am not going to do this because after this, I have to differentiate the numerator and denominator. So anyway, once more, let me make it very clear. When you have 0 multiplied by infinity, you just pull one of the quantities to the denominator using this algebraic technique. Anyway, I'm going to write this as log x, the whole divided by 1 by x. Now, question time. What is the derivative of log x? And what is the derivative of 1 by x? If you don't know the answer, it is. it means you don't know the formulae. So you can go to our website, download the formulae. Anyway, I know the formula, so I applied it. Log x, the derivative is 1 by x. 1 by x, the derivative is minus 1 by x square. And what should we do after L'Hopital? Simplify and apply the limit. I'll show you one more question and stop this video. You can try it and post the answer in comments below. Okay, we'll wind up this video right now. So please support us by sharing our channel with your friends. And you can support us by joining our Viber group. Anyway, we'll be back again in two days. So till then, my friends, bye.